Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for this basic Sorgonomics. We're going to get into a little back ground behind the scenes i covered a conference here last sunday and i uh, want to talk a little bit about what we do around that uh kind of a one-man show once again and uh doing what i can here for uh one of my clients uh on a little bit of a budget and we'll, t- we'll, we'll explain that a little bit uh but in the meantime you know please check out everything check out all the posts and check out the other podcasts i did with my friend will dj lunchbox at the wrestling mayhem show and of course our panel riot.com uh, we started a little uh, podcast experiment it's co- currently called the tba podcast with with um with with Will and Mike and uh we're looking for titles and I was telling the periscopers here before we went to air uh so far winning is DJ and the Sorg morning afternoon fun hour uh, followed by Laundry Time, followed by Upside Down and Inside Out with Will and Sork. We're going to have fun. We're kind of making a podcast from the inside out and uh, and 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 kind of developing that. And it's going to be a conversation show, and 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 it's just something fun to do. It just I like to have a conversation with my buddy Will, and why not turn that into a podcast? It's kind of how a lot of things on this network kind of start. So. Not much of a business plan, but it keeps me keeps me going. So let's get into uh, this week's thing. So uh, somebody know I, I work for um, a company called Seclair, Seclair Behavioral Therapy out in Export PA or near um, um, uh, Donegal, I think it is, is, is the nearest town there. Uh, it, it's weird how the towns kind of work post office wise. But anyways. So they have they they were part of a conference before and now they're kind of spinning it back up uh, as of last year with something called the uh, Lifestyle Medicine Conference and it's about what they do and you know they're more into mindfulness or, you know ho- homeopathic holistic you know kind of uh, uh, remedies right um, you know they try to and now they do have suboxone treatments for drug addiction they handle a lot of drug addiction there but they are also interested in, in like you know hey you have you know, you 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 have yoga and and don't take these drugs as much as maybe you sh- you 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 would have somewhere else, some other doctor would have prescribed you, right? You know, more natural things, and it seems to work for a lot of people. So they have this conference, and they have a lot of big names. Dr. Greg Nicosilia. I don't know if listeners to this will know some of these names. Ted Civic's a guy that's pretty big in the area. Uh, that was one of some of my favorite talks in the uh, you know at the conference, and that's actually the first video I had the opportunity to post because he didn't have slides I had to work with, and uh, and, and and all that. But uh, Dr. Weiner and, of course, Dr. Chaudhry, uh, you know, uh, who, who rents the Claire and is kind of the hard person behind all this. Um, and uh, it, one, it's fun. You know, it's something it's something interesting. I do learn a bit, you know, and uh, they're, they, they've had a really good job of uh, really kind of booking some uh, really interesting talkers. And they have a really good network. I mean, some of the people in there are people that actually have a stint where they, they visit one day a month out of Seclair, uh, you know, to provide their expertise, like Dr. Wagner from Nutri Pharmacy. He's more of a herbal remedies kind of uh, doctor. He's, you know, and uh, uh, Ted Civic, of course, who's um, fash. Fascia, fascia medicine, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Some kind of a, a little bit of kind of Chinese, uh, you know, remedy, you know, Chinese kind of uh, medicine kind of uh, idea and talks about the energies in your body and stuff. And it's really, really fascinating stuff, to be honest. Uh, inner, inner-strength.org if you want to find out more about him. It's not a great website, but you can you can explore that as well. But you, you hear the conversation, you hear what, you know, a little bit of breathing and, and that. I know it sounds kind of woo-woo-y stuff, but but trust me, it's good. It's, it's, uh, it's interesting uh, after a while, and uh, and and really kind of uh, you know kind of kind of, kind of digging it. I could use a little more mindfulness and meditation throughout my day for sure, but uh, at least nutritionally, I'm doing a little bit better. Anyways, <laughs> so what did we do? So we didn't really have much uh, in the lines of a budget. It's really. I'm I'm honestly there on you know uh, not what we usually do for a conference so this is very trimmed down so it's really just me <laughs> it's really just me uh, making sure the slides aren't you know making everything's hooked up first of all with the slides uh, I put a camera up and we record one camera not moving that's it. Because I'm also handling the social media for the day, so uh, I, I I have I've had a picture floating around here uh, of the booth. Uh, it's I got set up, and I let them have me let me have a booth, which was nice because it was a nice command center, and I got to put a business card out, and maybe people some well, some people will hire me. Trying to take advantage of the situation and get a little more out of it, since since this is kind of a lower charge situation. Um, but but everything is captured again, kind of that idea around podcast is like everything needs to be captured. You need to put that out there. 
right? There's information. You need to share the information. So we got that done. We got all this, all the talks, um, I think, adequately uh, recorded. There's one talk where the audio went bad. Somebody kicked something, and, and the guy just really didn't even talk into the microphone. So we might have to scrap one of them, but I don't, I don't think you're going to miss it, to be honest, information-wise. And... Uh, and, and then I'm sitting there and I'm doing social media, take some pictures. I actually use Periscope a little bit. Um, every once in a while, I would try to uh, throw up the Periscopes uh, during some of the talks and, you know, see what would happen. And some people would pop in, you know, we have like 30 people pop in a, across the web and on Periscope itself. And, uh, and, and, and it really kind of worked out well. As far as the social media, you know, a lot of it is, you know, taking pictures throughout the day, getting stuff through the day. I actually had a lot of fun with, um, I, I snagged, I actually snagged a little bit with uh, one, our, our keynote speaker, Dr. Greg Nicosia, and uh, a little bit of Dr. Strategy and his wife uh, before the conference. Just a real quick thing. I, I did this with the iPhone. You know, I, hey, I talked about yesterday about all the stuff we we're doing with the iPhone, right? And uh, and just threw it up on Facebook, on their Instagram, on Twitter, you know, and just, just uh, something really small and really quick and really nice to, to kind of just put out there. And... Uh, and, and and so we had a really good media presence, and we had a good, re really good response. Um, Janelle with the uh, drum circle was very responsive of, uh, as well. We had, you know, again, it's one of those thinking on, thinking on my feet as well. We're not there with a lot of equipment. I don't have cameras ever everywhere. Um, nobody's really told me where things are going to be. So they started setting up a drum circle in the in the front quarter, and I'm like. Everybody's going to be standing around this. My camera's not going to do anything, and it's pretty locked down. I don't want to move it and mess up all the audio and everything else for the next speaker that's going to start immediately after them. So, hey, having just recorded all that stuff the night before we talked about on yesterday's episode uh, for Fresh for the Farm Juices, um, I just grabbed my Gorilla Pod, grabbed my iPhone, and recorded about a half an hour of drum circle. And did it in bits, did it from song to song, got her talking a little bit. I'm, I need to look at and see, see, because some of it she was talking on the microphone, and the uh, the speakers are on the other end of the room, basically. So I don't know how well that's going to come out. We're going to play with that, and uh, hopefully I can have a nice video of that. In the meantime, there is some stuff up there. Uh, there's a little bit, and, and this was this had an amazing response. It's, it's, uh, it's already had over 500 views on Facebook, um, but just... You know, she was bringing people in, starting the drum circle, and and this was a lot of fun. Uh, there's there's some really good responses to this video. People that people have participated in the circle, you know, and getting a little bit, uh, a, a, a little bit of you know, a little bit of energy out and being a part of something like that. And then the dancers came in the circle, and it was a lot of fun. And and uh, it, this is this is how they spent after lunch, by the way, which I think was a pretty good uh, a pretty good way to keep people moving. They've had dance sessions and stuff, and in the past and last year's video so and everybody's up and everybody's you know even the people in the background have have uh, uh, uh blocks and yes even cowbell out there so uh, uh and i see uh, uh matt keener with the uh with the uh uh, uh what do you call it the thing the thing with the jingle jingles he's got the jingle jingles oh geez oh geez i do the show too early anyways <laughs> But uh, we had a lot of fun, and there's, there's already a lot of video on there. If you go to seclair.com, like I said, the video on acupuncture and Chinese herbal remedies with Dr. Uh, Ted Civic is on there. Also, a really cool dude. We, we've had him on uh, several times on that Monday uh, hangout slash video show that we do with Seclair as well. So, um, you know, really good conversation. Like I said, just kind of a lockdown camera, something something interesting. We're going to throw slides over all the uh, other sessions. Hey, look, there's Krishna walking by the camera. Uh, but anyways... <laughs> <laughs> um, and it looks like I'm going to be doing the same thing here um, on May 22nd for Sisters of Charity. Uh, still kind of working out the details on it, but again, kind of they're they're under a budget. They can't afford the the you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars it would, it would take to do a full on you know me, maybe me and another person to make sure the video is perfecto, you know, um, on top of doing the social media work and everything. So we're going to do kind of a package deal like we did with uh, this one. It's something to it's something to do. It's another gig. Uh, why not? And uh, and, uh, you know, covering your event. And, and, and what does this mean for you? I'm one guy that's taking video and covering social media and getting interest during the event and having this material that people can dive into about what your event was. Much like yesterday, we talked about people coming in and, and seeing your seeing you talk about things and, and seeing everything. Uh, when you're 
having your second event now, you'd be like, hey, this is what the first one was like. Don't you want to come to this one? You know, and I really think we have uh, videos again up of all those stuff from last last year, all those talks from last year, pictures from last year, all this stuff. Uh, we're having it in the same location so again it's something you know even if you're not even just kind of getting interest i mean it, everybody's in the door you're not getting more coming in for the most part but you're trying to create a buzz uh over people that follow you them at seclair for instance you know or maybe during PodCamp pittsburgh you know uh, you know you want people to find out about you and uh you know sitting there and, and and trying to find quotes in in the you know, and the discussions that are happening in front of me and getting those out there and tagging them with, you know, uh, in this case, acupuncture and Chinese or, or herbs, you know, uh, and there's somebody out there with a the search that's looking for that kind of stuff. And, and, and it really resonates with, you know, we, we got a few uh, retweets and favorites on Twitter where we never do for, for this client, right? It's just their audience is not there or not finding them, uh, but it's mostly on Facebook. And there we had a lot of comments of people that came, you know, and, and people that did come that were liking it and, and, and commenting a little bit on it. So um, that, that's really it, just kind of having that awareness, you know. Uh, there was a little bit of, and this goes for video shows too, you can't just release and pray, right? You know, I release these shows and I need to, you know, make people care about them, put them out there, put them out on my network, not just release them in the morning because people will never find it, you know. Uh, you can't just have the conference and then walk away until next year when you start planning again. You put this out there and you make people care about it and want to come back to the to Lifestyle Medicine Conference 2016, right? Let me know what you think. Any questions about what we do here and uh, on the on the uh, on the conference front, on videoing for your event and everything like that, uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitters or comments on this video or wherever you find this across the interwebs, on Facebook, YouTube, wherever else. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.